Hey what's up guys, Aditya here. Before getting started be sure to hit the like button and with that being said let's get started. This video is especially about GL tools. If you want to know the installation process and other stuffs like that, then watch the complete GL tools tutorial from the link given in the description. What this video is all about is just to make your Pokemon Go run faster without any lag. In fact, it works with any other Android game, not just the Pokemon Go. So if you are having problem in running any Android game, then try these settings out. Turn the GLSL shaders on, then tap on downscale texture and select the limit to 256 into 256. Then check the fake GPU info and use Tegra 4 Shield as a template. Now try running the game and it should look something like this. The game will run much faster and smoothly than it used to be. And still if your device can't handle that, then downscale texture to limit 1 into 1 then restart the game. Now it should look something like this. I know it's not the best looking settings in the world but it'll get your job done. And just in case if you need those extra oomph meaning extra horsepower which can insanely increase the speed of the game without even decreasing the graphics then keep watching this video. Download and install RAM Expander from the link given in the description. Now tap on the optimal value and the app will configure the best setting according to your device. Now using this slider you can get RAM all the way up to 4GB or just simply tap on the number and enter the amount of RAM in the form of MB. Like if I need 2GB of RAM then I have to enter 204 it and it'll automatically adjust the slider. Tap on swap active switch. Now here you have to choose the storage where the swap file is going to be created. The performance depends on the speed of your memory card. Even if your phone doesn't have room for an external storage, don't worry, it still can be used with an internal storage. What it does basically, it creates a swap file with the size of the virtual RAM you configured using the slider. Now tap on the swap active once again to kickstart the procedure of swap file creation. It can may take up to a while, till then you can just sit back and relax. Just don't touch or play with your phone otherwise it could may damage your card. Now here you can see that the 2GB of virtual RAM has been added to the device. I have 3GB of onboard RAM and now 2GB of virtual RAM and after adding both I have approx 5GB of RAM which I guess is insane. And this extra amount of added RAM did improve my gaming experience by increasing the FPS. So I guess that's about it for this video. Do share this video as much as you can with other people to help them out. Follow us on Instagram, our ID is at my instant search. Hit that red subscribe button to get more videos like this. So this was Ayatha Prakash signing off from my instant search. 3, 2, 1, FINISH HERE! Winner!